Hello everyone. I just wanted to show you how you can make a circular avatar for your Moreau desk profile. We're going to go into Photoshop and first of all, you just need to drag any photo that you have of yourself into Photoshop. I'm going to start with this very businessy profile photo that I got taken last year. I'm just going to drag it here. Okay. So I already had the crop tool selected. That's what these uh, bars on either side mean. I'm just gonna press escape. So first of all, I'm gonna go to width times height times resolution up here. And I'm just gonna select a thousand pixels here and a thousand pixels here. Now we see we have a square box and I'm just gonna click inside the box and then use shift while I'm dragging down to center it over my photo. I'm going to press enter and enter again to crop the photo. So that crops it quite small, but that's okay because we don't need a super large photo for our profiles anyways. If you press control one, this will show you the full resolution image that will ultimately be exported. All right, now we see that this layer has changed from background and with a little lock symbol and now it's unlocked. So I'm going to use the marquee tool up here. You can press M for marquee. Or if you have the rectangular marquee tool selected, just click on this little down arrow and select the elliptical marquee. Pressing shift, start in the upper left corner and just try to create as close to a circle within this square as you can. If you wanna drag it around, you'll see that the mouse turns into this little arrow that allows you to drag the shape within the square. And you see too that you might have some guidelines show up as you move the circle around. I'm just gonna make it so that this center guideline is lined up. Then I'm gonna select inside again, press shift and move this circle up until I see it's perfectly centered. Once you have your circle centered, you can press shift control I. That's gonna select the inverse of the circle. And now if you just press delete, you can see that you have a perfectly transparent edge around this circle. So press Control D to deselect this um, circle, and now we can export it as a PNG. But instead of just using Save As, I'm going to use Export. So go to File, Export, and then Save for Web Legacy. In this dialog box, it'll give you a preview of your uh, exported image, and you can see down here the size of the image. This is good because we wanna make sure that our file size isn't too large in Moreau. This is pretty good, but I think we can also make it a little bit smaller. However, we're gonna do that outside of Photoshop. So I'm just gonna go save and select a location for it on my desktop. Once you've saved the image, I want you to navigate to a website called tinypng. This is gonna help us compress our images as we load them into Moreau. So there's tinyjpg and tinypng. It doesn't matter which one you put, tinyjpg or tinypng, but it'll both direct you to this website. As long as you have um, a maximum of five megabytes on your file size, you can use this service for free. So I'm gonna to go to my desktop where I save my image and just drag it into this box. Now it's uploading, compressing, and you can see that it's reduced it to 340 kilobytes, which is much, much better than almost a megabyte, which is here. You can download that. So once you've downloaded your picture, you can go back to your Moreau board and all you need to do is go to your downloads and drag and drop this into Moreau. You'll see that it's um, rasterizing the image and I'm just gonna drag it into the circle. You see that there's some helpful guidelines here. Now we can resize it by dragging these So I've resized it to fit within, within the circle and that's all there is to it. 